Hello creatives. This week I am talking about art journaling in the true sense of journaling. So using the written word and painting in a sort of mixture of morning pages, a gratitude journal, and an intuitive art journal. It's a practice that I used to do a lot and I have just picked it up again while we're going through this challenging time with the um, mold issue and it has been such an incredible blessing to me so i show more of this in the video but what i have been doing every day is doing some uh, a gratitude list some journaling about what's going on and then i do a painting and just sort of an intuitive painting sometimes you know it just uh is like that you know just so i'll, I'll go over that more in the video but um yeah, so it's, I hope you enjoy it. I have found this practice to be so helpful um, as we navigate this, this journey that we're on. I've been having tremendous bouts of anxiety through this process and um, downright panic attacks where I didn't feel like I could calm myself down. This journaling practice has helped me so much. The things that are showing up in this practice, I have found tremendously helpful and I just can't recommend it enough. I'm so happy that I have come back to this practice because I've been away from it for a long time. I did it sporadically, but I, I think it's very helpful. Uh, my dogs are, <laughs> my dogs are in the tent eating paper towels that I dropped. Posey, I gotta go get that. Hang on. Okay, so what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my doggies was that I'm finding it's really important, at least for me, to do it every day. Um, I just find it builds, you know, the healing power of it builds and it, it helps draw things out and it helps insights come on a more regular basis if you're just sort of entering into this as a meditation every morning. So I'm really enjoying this process and I hope that you enjoy watching me go through this process in this week's video. Hey everybody, I got my cameraman working tonight. I, uh, you know, I kind of lost my creative mojo there for a little while and I was trying different things, mixed media things and some of the acrylics, but it's really hard to get the acrylics set up where I'm, it's too hot to be outside during the day and I'm not supposed to be in the house. So today I got out my watercolors, my small, um, watercolor palettes. These are Daniel Smith watercolors in here. And I got out my watercolor journal that I haven't used and a million years and um, I got stuff in my Peshad box. I actually have some gouache and a little stay wet palette over there in case I decide to switch over to gouache but I am having so much fun with watercolor. I haven't painted with watercolor in quite a while and of course the dogs are freaking out. Our grandson is here so you can show Sam if he doesn't mind. Say hi, hi Sam. 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 <laughs> That's handsome Sam. <laughs> okay guys I just thought I'd show you what I've been up to talk to you later. Good morning creatives. I'm out here in the tent doing my art journal pages, doing some journaling and some painting over them. And I'm finding this practice to be so restorative and healing. I'm so glad I started doing this again. Um, yeah, it's a, a really wonderful way to start the morning. I hope you'll give it a try. It's breezy enough in the tent today that it's possible to be outside um, painting, which is nice. It's not that scorching heat. It's hot, but the cool breeze makes it feel bearable. So I'm continuing to play around with watercolors and um, realizing how rusty I am. I haven't used them in a long time. The dogs are out here with me. There's one down there. Popo, Posey, here you are. There's Nico. I don't know where Toshi is hiding. But anyways, I've decided um, to use this little journal. If you saw my video on my art on my uh, art haul from Cheap Joe's, their Buy It, Try It page, this was one of those little journals that I got, or sketchbooks that I got from that. 
and I've decided to use it as sort of a gratitude journal, you know, a journal of what's going on as we move through this process along with some just, you know, what primitive, I guess, primitive style paintings or whatever, whatever. This was a uh, neocolor crayon, but just, just a place to show up and create and not worry about anything. So, um, these were my pink loons that I did and then a little watercolor. And then today I wrote a little bit about what was happening. And then I think now I'm going to do just a little bit of maybe abstract watercolor on these two pages. I'm not sure, but I, I think I'm going to try to show up every day in this journal and just do a little something on paper, whatever it is, it doesn't even matter, and do some writing with it. I think it'll be really therapeutic, um, especially with a focus on the gratitude part. Uh, use it as sort of a gratitude journal. So yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that in m many, many years where I've combined um, writing, journaling, and, and painting. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a really helpful process to just help me navigate through these challenging times. So, and, and again, I'm so grateful today that it's cool enough to be able to be out in the tent painting instead of scorching hot.
So for those of you that don't know, I'm actually currently living in a tent due to a mold problem in my house. So I'm having a little bit of a challenge with figuring out the best way to film these morning pages um, with the gratitude writing and the journal writing and the painting in the morning sun because this tent gets a lot of morning sun. So uh, it's a process. I'll, I'm figuring out the best way to film out here. I can't obviously fit my big equipment that I normally film with in my studio. So um, bear with me while I figure this out, but I probably will be doing a little bit more filming of this kind of content because I am really finding these morning pages to be, um, and these aren't true morning pages in the style of Julia Cameron. It's just morning journaling. I should, I should find a different name for it, but, uh, Oh, it's very, very therapeutic. So forgive the weird light and the weird camera angles while I work out how best to do these these pages. Um, I do have my gratitude page that I'm doing each morning that I start with and then a little bit of a journaling page about what's going on. Faith, lots of faith is needed in this situation. Um, things I worry about. I worry about the stress on my husband. Yeah, so, um, gosh, this is, I just am really enjoying this and finding this healing. I, I During this whole process, I, I really lost my creative drive. And um, let me turn this camera around. Yeah, during this process, I really lost my creative drive. It was feeling so laborious to create at all. And um, this has been magical. This is just a really great way to start out the morning and write down some of my fears about our situation and some of my hopes for the future. You know, uh, the gratitude list has been oh, so helpful. I know everybody talks about that and it seems like such a small thing, but the gratitude list has been really, really helpful. I mean, I'm waking up in a tent on my deck every morning, surrounded by bird song. I'm watching a hummingbird right now at, at the feeder. You know, I hear the, I go to sleep with the crickets, the sound of the crickets. Um, and I'm, I'm surrounded by forest, by beautiful woods. So there is a lot to be grateful for in this situation. I have my husband by my side. Um, yeah, the gratitude journal is very, very helpful. I did tank for a little while. You know, if you watch my videos, there was a few videos where I cried and you know, that's okay. Like in the beginning, um, you got to feel those feelings in the beginning. This was hugely traumatic for both my husband and I and very groundless. And, um, oh my God, it was, it was a blow. It was a huge traumatic blow, but you know, then you sort of have to find your, um, find your faith, whatever that means to you and, and just move forward. But the gratitude, 
keep it. My dogs are going to start. Of course, I start to film my dog's bark. Anyways, so um, this, can't recommend this enough. A little painting, a little journaling in the morning. It's been tremendously helpful for me. So there's another one of my morning journaling painting sessions. I'm really enjoying it. I can't believe it's August 1st today. I'm managing to keep up my practice of a gratitude page and then a journaling page with a little uh, abstract painting over the top of it every day. And um, I'm actually really cherishing this time of writing down my thoughts and feelings and writing down what I'm grateful for. It's, um, it's a beautiful time, especially the mornings when the mornings are cool and not so humid. Um, I really am enjoying it. I'm finding it so beneficial. And then I do sort of just a little expressive, intuitive painting without much thought on the next page, which I think I showed this before in the video, but just some of these, these types of things, you know, without much thought, just sort of to further the meditation. And um, yeah, really enjoying it. It's a peaceful time, time to really be able to quiet myself. We're pretty sure we had a bear uh, come by the tent last night. Well, we're elevated up on the deck, but the dog started barking like crazy. And I jumped out of bed and I looked out over, you know, the, the open area before the woods. And uh, I saw this big dark shadow running towards the woods. So I screamed, you know, said, hey, hey, get out of here. And uh, then I ran and got the flashlight by the bedside and shined it down into the woods and saw like the reflection of a couple of eyes. And the dogs were so upset. So anyways, I just can't express how much this um, morning art journaling is... Uh, blessing me. It's just such a nice time to settle with your feelings. And um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I know I keep saying that, but I'm really enjoying it. I should paint a bear this morning. Maybe that's what I'll do for the painted pages. I just finished the journaling pages and did the um, painting over those, you know, the sort of just wash painting. But maybe for my other page, I will paint um, a bear, <laughs> just a really primitive bear. So in honor of our bear visit last night on my, in my morning pages journal, I did a watercolor of a bear waving and a raven sitting on top of his head. And my thoughts while I was painting this were that bear came last night to bring me his powerful medicine you know, bear is courageous, facing your fears, courageous medicine. And um, raven is a shapeshifter and can lead you into the dark areas of your life, the areas where you're afraid to go, afraid to explore. And when raven shows up in your life, raven, raven and crow are my totem birds, totem animals. And I've always found that when Raven shows up in my life, uh, big changes are coming and that it, you're almost stepping into a new realm. So when the bear showed up last night, I screamed. I yelled at it to go away. The dogs were upset and I was afraid. I was really afraid. And I actually had a, and I'm not normally that afraid. We have bears come around. We have bears come around with cubs. And I'm not normally that afraid of them. Um, but last night I was very afraid. So I screamed for it to go away. And then I got back into bed and um, I had a panic attack, a really bad panic attack. And I couldn't calm down. Dawn and I had just eaten a you know, binged out on a couple of ice cream cones to sort of soothe our anxieties. I don't know. We were just binge eating ice cream and we each had two ice cream cones and I'm on medication for Lyme disease and Babesia right now where you're not supposed to eat sugar. So I don't know if it was a combination of those things or what, but when I went back to bed, I dreamed that, um, 
there was mold dripping out of all of our walls. It was like seeping through the walls and the walls were kind of bowing out and exploding with it. And it was dripping down from the ceilings and it was a terrifying, horrible place to be. Some, all the dark, moldy, bad things were seeping out of the walls to get me. And so, um, I got, I just got really sick. I had an upset stomach. I had GI issues last night and spent a very sick night in and out of the bathroom all night. But when I was painting this, I had already done my gratitude page and I had already done my journaling page. And, um, when I painted this, that was my gratitude page and that was my journaling page. And then I painted over there, over those. So by the time I got to this, I just, you know, was in a very meditative state painting it. And that's what kind of came to me was that Bear didn't come to me to frighten me last night. Bear came last night to give me courage. And Raven came along with him to bring me into the dark places to, um, so that I would not be afraid of them, so that I would be brave and able to have the courage of Bear and um, the wisdom of Raven to go into the dark places of my current experience and not be afraid. Really powerful medicine. If you're not into animal medicine, you'll probably think I'm crazy, but having a bear show up um, is really powerful medicine. And the fledgling ravings, ravens are every year, they, they, they are a generational clan of ravens that have nested down the road from us and an old quarry and um, they, the fledglings come up every, to our property every year when they first learn to fly and they're nuts. They make raucous sounds and they're playing and they're learning and they're... So, so we, I have been surrounded by raven medicine all spring and summer and, um, and bear came. So powerful medicine, you know, really powerful medicine. I'm, I'm grateful for this uh, painting speaking to me that way this morning, helping me to see my fear and face it and just keep moving forward, not cave into a panic attack. Like la that's the way it started out last night was after I saw the bear, it was just a massive panic attack. So it's moving through my fears. It's powerful stuff, powerful time. So, this morning exercise, the thank gratitude, the painting, the um, journaling, painting over those, and then doing the painting was um, much longer time than I normally spend on them. So I, I need to go get some stuff done and start throwing some stuff out in the house. But I really wanted to share that with you guys because that was, that was pretty awesome. I won't be so afraid of beer next time. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I'm using Daniel Smith watercolors. This is um, a, the, a Daniel Smith set that they sold online, but was quite expensive. So I had a lot of the colors. So a few years ago, I just made it up made the palette up myself and this is the um a palette of the greens and highly granulating colors there's some really beautiful granulating colors in this mix absolutely love those and um it's overcast today which is so nice so i can kind of be out of the tent and um just out on this big picnic table to paint to do my morning pages which feels really good to spread out and have some space I don't I know some people work are able to work in really cramped areas but I don't work that well in a cramped space creatively I need a little bit of room to spread my stuff out I, I think I'm really spoiled from having such a big studio so um, I find it challenging to paint when I'm in the tent there's just not a lot of room in there but this is nice. And the sun's coming out now, so we'll see. It's supposed to get hot today, but I'm hoping to get my gratitude page done and my journaling page done and a little painting, a little intuitive painting. So we'll see what comes up.
Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to Oh, me. 
muscles out of sand Reaching for the ground As we're lost in line We lose track of time Let a pie now we climb Oh, oh, oh. Dreamy, breezy, we go So that's the painting that I did of the deer that I saw walking below the deck this morning. We have a little deer trail that runs behind our house and she was actually walking down the same trail the bear was walking down the other night. Well, he was running down because I yelled at him, but the deer often walk down this path. So that was my painting for this morning. I got my... Um, gratitude page, my journaling page, and my deer painting. And in animal medicine, the deer stands for grace. And deer have always been a sign for Don and I that things are going to get better, that God is with us and the angels are watching and things are going to get better. And my sweetie just brought me home a Wendy's strawberry salad. So we're just about to have lunch. Okay, guys, there's my morning, morning journaling session for, what is today? August 2nd. Okay, so that is my morning pages, journaling, gratitude pages for the week and paintings. So the journaling, the gratitude, the painting. You know, and sometimes it just looks like that. It doesn't have to be fancy paintings. I have gone into um, doing some imagery, but just, just laying some color on top of your words with watercolor, you know, that is plenty. Then if you feel, you know, some imagery come to you, you can paint it out. But um, yeah, just, you know, circles and lines with watercolor over my words. But the further I got into it, I started to have some imagery and come through that I wanted to paint out. So I have started to include that. You know, this was just sort of some loose watercolor florals over the, um, over my words. And this practice is, is really helping me through this difficult time. I don't know what I would do without this practice. This was the last page that I did. This was yesterday's page. And um, it's, uh, you know, I, if you saw my Instagram post, you know I went up to take a shower in the bedroom. We're still coming into the house to shower and cook. And I went up to um, shower and I just really missed my bed. I, um, my, in my bedroom, and I laid down on the bed after I showered and I started to cry. I just, um, it just really hit me. I just started to really sob because of all the loss and the grief just, you know, coming out. And I just laid in my bed and I, I wanted it back. I wanted my bedroom back and all the things that, the way they used to be before all this stress came. So painting this for my ma morning painting, I had done the, let's see, I had done, these were the pages, which is interesting because they came out so dark, you know, it's kind of moody and dark pages. So um, I must have been feeling down even when I did these, but I was trying to remain positive. And then I went upstairs and just broke open 
So that was my painting for yesterday. And I haven't done my pages yet today. I'm going to do them as soon as I finish videoing this for you guys. But it's Thursday and I need to get this edited so I can get it up for you guys on Friday. I hope you'll give this practice a try. I really do. And if you do try it and you enjoy it, let me know if, you, if you're finding that it blesses you and, and um, that it's helping you, helping you out. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching this week, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Have a great week. Oh,